Good afternoon. Hope all of you are well. Today I'm going to guide you through the process of Lectio Divina. I know for many here at Oxford Baptist Church this is a, a unique and different thing you've never done before. But Lectio Divina means a holy reading or listening. It's an age-old method uh, to meditate on the scripture. During this time I will be reading the scripture and before each reading, I'm going to prompt you to think about it in a specific and certain way. Between each reading, I'm going to ask you to pause the video so that you can meditate and journal. I ask you maybe five, six minutes in between, or whatever is comfortable for you. I encourage you, however, to go through the entire process before you walk away to do something different, as it may break your concentration and meditative. So I'm going to ask you right now to grab a pencil and a pen or a journal as well. I'm going to ask you to get in a comfortable posture as we'll be here for just a few moments. And place your hands, palms up as it's a receiving, receptive posture. Take a deep breath in. Through your nose and out through your mouth. I ask you to steady your breathing in a rhythmic way. The first reading will be focusing on uh, listening to the Holy Spirit to give us a specific word or phrase from this passage of scripture to meditate on. Just a word or phrase. Feed on the fruit from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. An ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says... Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now pause the video and reflect on that one word when you are ready to proceed, press play. During our second reading of Psalm 46, I want you to listen. What emotions do you feel? What emotions do you feel in this passage that resonate with your specific life circumstance? And how this passage connects to your life where you are right now.
God is our refuge and strength. An ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river who makes glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth he makes war cease he, to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now pause the video and reflect and journal on the emotions that you feel in relationship to your life and this passage. When you are ready to continue, press play. For our last reading, we'll be listening for a specific invitation from the Lord to us as an individual. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar in foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now pause the video once again and I encourage you to write down what God might be saying to you as an invitation to you. Write your response down in the first person. For instance, I would say, Brad, please be still, quiet, a little more so you can hear me speak. Write down your response as if God is speaking to you. After doing so, write a prayer of thanksgiving for what you have learned. When you are ready to continue, press play. Thank you for joining us 
would like to say a prayer for you before we depart. Let us pray. Almighty God, may our hearts always be open to hearing a word from you. Continue to speak to us as we depart our time together. Allow us to hear your voice, your spirit, more clearly than ever before. For each one listening and hearing my voice right now, may you bless them. May you allow the Spirit of God to go before them, to come behind them, and to dwell within them. From now till forevermore. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. If you have a specific prayer request you would like to offer, I encourage you to email me at brad at oxhillbaptist.org. God bless you. I'll see you again soon.